Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video, which is my review of this beautiful palette. Sweeties, this is from Sugar Drizzle. This is by the time you're seeing this, not the newest release because by now the Dragonfly Warrior uh, palette has released, but this is what I got just recently and I am so, so grateful because first of all, this got sponsored by one of my besties and Sugar Drizzle is just an amazing brand. Have your eyes on that brand they're gonna go far okay so first of all I want to of course uh, point out this beautiful outer packaging and they have their own thing like they have their own thing what they do with their outer packaging with their themes so so cool so it says here be the flawed quirky unique beautiful and magical person that you are right isn't that the coolest thing okay so this is the palette and this is how she looks from the inside and of course I'm going to show you more about that palette as we go on I'm going to show you two other looks that I have done already in pictures and of course we're going to create this one here together now if you just found me I'm Leora I'm a makeup artist and stylist I'm living for colorful makeup and colorful styling so if that is something that you definitely need in your life to save your life yeah, then of course check out my channel and my social media which is linked in the description box down below and of course subscribe because I would love to have you here and for you it's just gonna be good. Yeah, it's just gonna be good. Okay, beyond that, of course, I'm gonna have to talk to you because today I'm going to feed your curiosity. I'm going to feed you today so <laughs> get yourselves ready because we're gonna do a story time and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one today and of course after the story time you're going to see the swatches of this palette the other two looks and pictures and of course then the review part so with all of that being said let's jump right into the video okay sweeties here we are and we are doing a look and today is the day <laughs> today is the day that I'm going to use the transition shades sweeties mark it in the calendar okay of course you know what we're talking about uh, this palette right so I think I think what was my plan I just <laughs> just forgot what the plan was I think I'm going to go into this one is that what I planned I think so all right so I'm going to use a fluffy brush and I'm just going to try to um, apply that like loosely you know oh and I'm also using the um, eyeshadow primer from be perfect cosmetics today I'm also a little bit stained still from yesterday's look but I don't care so that is all the basics about today so let's just try to fluff this fluff this on I don't know um, I'm honestly not that great working this way because I always try to go in with the darkest shade first if I have mattes but because um, there are only three mattes in the palette and I want to also of course showcase a little bit more of the shimmers because they are of course the star of the show I'm do you see I'm great at this <laughs> so in any case while I'm trying to figure out this look I want to talk to you of course about something and that is why I left Germany this is a um, topic that has been requested by several of you and as always please send it to me by DM on Instagram or that is the best way because there I don't miss it or leave it in the comments but be prepared that I might miss it um, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about okay so in any case uh, some of you have asked me why did you leave Germany because if you don't know I was born and raised in Germany and I came here to Israel because now I live in Jerusalem Israel I came here at age 20 or 21 something like that I don't remember <laughs> it's so long ago it's Okay, so in any case, uh, why did that happen? And you know, the thing is, it's a bit hard to figure out just what, that one thing, you know, because everything in life always has like more levels than just, just the one thing. Now, one thing I can already just mention and then put it to the side is religious reasons, okay? Because I'm Jewish and I kind of feel like I belong here to Israel because Judaism and Israel kind of goes hand in hand. Also, of course, goes hand in hand with um, the fact that for me personally, I believe what's, what scriptures say. And in scriptures, it says that I need to work that's what it says in scriptures it says that it's part of prophetic fulfillment that God's people are coming home to the land of Israel okay so let's just take this and put it to the side because of course I also had reasons beyond that that were more personal and I think are just more interesting maybe for 
people <laughs> you know because I think that you probably uh, would like to know me more on a like a personal level instead of me on a preachy level <laughs> so in any case um, why did I leave now I I did not live a religious life really it only really became that way that I became more religious um, or more interested in religion after a very very bad relationship after a very bad breakup by the way this shade is more pigmented I'm trying to not be pigmented okay that's why I'm just having this wash of color because I really just want a little bit and I'm trying to build it up slowly to the level that I want if I can figure this out okay I'm also pulling in my bone color mat you know so I'm just switching to that and trying to get a smoother transition all right so um, I wanted to be more religious after that bad breakup but the real reason for me becoming yeah it was the breakup it was that relationship that actually gave me the final push now I was always interested in uh, living somewhere else but Germany because you know when you're young and you think you just like give me wings and I'll fly wherever um, and you're kind of stupid sometimes also <laughs> careless and maybe also a bit naive and um, just inexperienced you think you can do it all right so I thought that would be so cool I could live wherever that would be amazing and it, I would be so special <laughs> yeah right okay but then I got into this relationship with this guy and I want to say that I really really love this guy he was hot you know <laughs> yeah and it was all good and dandy uh, till it wasn't you know he was a recovering alcoholic and while i don't really judge people on that account because let's face it wait i need a brush we are all recovering from one thing or the other you know so um that was that but at some point it just became um not so nice anymore when he drifted back into old uh, patterns or old behavior i'm gonna go in with this this shade um, this is unique Th this is the name of the shade okay so I'm again I'm just going to try to kind of fluff it on and then later on build it up okay um, yeah so basically he became very very violent every time he was drunk and that uh, was of course a situation that became life-threatening for me and was very very hard to handle because not only physically but also because um, it was just very I love the guy you know and you don't just leave because uh, trouble arises right you try to fix it and um, sometimes there are things you cannot fix you cannot fix them and uh, of course he got professional help but he had a lot of slip-ups and it was seriously um, dangerous to my life you know so basically in that time where I felt I need to leave but I love this guy so much I need to actually leave the country so it's hard for me to go back to him and try to fix him you know so um, that seems to be a bit of a reoccurring thing with me that I try to fix things because I kind of do the same thing now with my rescue animals I'm trying to fix their lives you know and make it better yeah but in any case so that that was basically the reason where I made this decision I need to leave so it was honestly not really a good reason to leave because I always feel like if you want to leave or if you want to do something that huge change that huge in your life you better make it because you yourself have to make the decision that you want to do it and not because you're fleeing from something right uh, but I was fleeing from something <laughs> from something very very big in my life and I was just saying just God make something out of this you know because this is not um, this is not the perfect situation of starting a new life or starting something that big to actually leave a country but I was like just God you fix it I, I just going I'm just gonna take the next step and you fix it sorry but that's how it is that's how I work okay I need the next brush um, yeah and now I'm gonna go in with Kirky <laughs> cute Kirky 
Okay, and here again, I'm going to just fluff it on and I'm going to build it up later. I first of all, want to see how the look comes together and then I'll see, I'll deal with the intensity, okay? So, uh, yeah, so basically that was that. I then uh, left. I left him because I knew that I could not fix him and um, and he had said that he's going to find me anywhere he's gonna find me anywhere so I knew I had to leave the country and oh this is beautiful um, and that's what I did okay so also in Leora's life not everything is <laughs> butterflies you know not everything is butterflies um, and when I say I have been around the barn and I have had some experiences that were also not that pretty, then uh, I actually do, you know? <laughs> because people always think, oh, Leora is so sweet, nothing, nothing ever shattered her soul. <laughs> yeah, don't get me started. But in any case, that is the, the biggest reason, really, that pushed me. Because, you know, when I was growing up, um, I had the, the thing that I just wanted to have a husband and three dogs or a husband, one dog and two kids or have no kids. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and now, of course, I'm living quite the different life, which is cool because, you know, I said all these things because I just wanted to be normal and being being normal in Germany is basically having one or two children, having a dog, having two cars, and maybe going on vacation once a year, or if you're good, then twice a year. Um, at, at some point, though, I felt like this is almost too normal for me, <laughs> you know. Um, my sister is actually living that kind of a life. She has two children, she has a house, she has, uh, you know, a husband, obviously, and um, it's very, very normal kind of and there's nothing wrong with that because you know people are craving normal because what is normal but um and i was craving normal too i just wanted to have a normal life but at some point i felt yeah this is not going to work for me this is not going to happen now i'm going to go in with my finger now that i know how the look looks you know and i'm just going to go in and put this one on a little bit more and I'm also going to build up the blue and then work on the transition between the blue and the green. All right, so in any case, um, that is why I left. Now, I did have a good job. I was working as a registered nurse and I was earning, well, you don't earn a lot of money, at least not in Europe or in Asia where I live now. Um, I think you're completely underpaid for the work that you're doing, but I had a job and it paid the bills. So um, also my boyfriend had a good job. He was actually t the heir to a bit of an empire. <laughs> Sounds like that sounds like it's super super huge but um, in the city where I lived it was a very big um, it was the empire of that city okay so I don't know but um, he was the only son and he only had one younger sister so he was the one who was gonna take over and his parents loved me so so much and they had actually bought a piece of property for us as a gift you know so we can build a house on it and we had actually spoken to the architect already and this this was like this is gonna happen you know we were not just dating loosely dating we were living together for two years told you it was not religious so um, and that's that's what we did you know um, and I loved him <laughs> yeah so I don't know things sometimes just take a different turn and then you just have to sometimes unfortunately pack up and leave now I'm saying unfortunately because in that moment it hurt and it meant everything is falling apart of course now looking back I'm grateful because I knew it would not have never worked if the break would not have come then it would have come five years after you know and then who knows once you have kids already and stuff it is so so much harder to leave you know so it actually turned out for the best i have to say but that is what what took me to a different country now i actually debated to go either to israel because that's of course the the home of my forefathers or to australia sweeties <laughs> hello in australia i wanted to come to you and i actually applied for uh, places to go basically in israel and in australia and i was like okay whoever answers first this is where i'll go and israel answered first probably just because 
the mail takes much, much shorter to get to Israel and back to Germany than to Australia. Sometimes I kind of wish that uh, Australia would have answered because I would have become a cowgirl. Just saying. Totally into that. So yeah, okay, I'm going to go in again with the green mat and I'm just going to kind of build it up a tiny little bit more and fluff it over the edge here. This is, this turns out to be like a very dreamy look. This is unusual. <laughs> yeah. But in any case, so that is that. And then I came to Israel and of course here I couldn't work as a nurse anymore because I um, I didn't have the, um, the international degree, okay? I only had the German degree and yes, you can, of course, do the, or do the degree. You can pass a test to become the international, an international nurse, okay? But for that, um, you need to kind of study and be very good in English and or in Hebrew or in Arabic or Russian, whatever language you um, want to take the test, just German was not available. So, um, and I was just not good enough for that, um, language-wise. So I then tried to look for something else. So first of all, I actually went into a bit of a, a camp, <laughs> it sounds so bad, into a, um, a program um, that actually helps people to just like, first of all, stabilize in the new country, but then also uh, because I needed some help because I wanted to learn. First of all, I wanted to learn better Hebrew and I also wanted to learn um, more about my religion, you know? So I did um, a six months program living together with other people that are doing the same thing and also kind of reconnecting to like to God and to all of these things. And, uh, and that's what I did. So from there I went to meet my husband <laughs> because he was then uh, my boss, you know? And I spoke about this story already here on my channel. Yeah, I want to build up the blue a little bit more. While I never, I never really like the effect that it has on me when, when there is a shimmer shade above my crease that usually leads to high anxiety in my life. But I still want to do it. So that's what I'm going to decide for today. And I'm going to um, change brushes. And I want to have this a little bit more like pushed into the crease and a little bit more like build up in intensity and then see of course here in the crease it's very hard for me to like apply it with my finger so that's that's what it is i have to kind of just work with brushes because yeah all right uh, do i know what happened to my uh, boyfriend back then yes i do um he actually got married twice and um has one son and still lives where he used to live <laughs> so yeah and I am here and I actually bumped into him when I was visiting Germany like I bumped into him by accident because um, you know my mom also lives in that area and when I go to visit my mom it is not impossible to just bump into each other on the street you know so I actually met him and his wife and his son and um, he seems to be happy enough but I don't know it's not my problem anymore you know so yeah I think I um, made a better choice but back then I of course didn't know that and it hurt like crazy to make this choice you know because I thought I'm never gonna have anyone ever in my life <laughs> yeah that that was not it but um, of course I chose my husband then according to different um, qualities you know I knew that he wasn't an alcoholic because I knew that I could not take that anymore uh, for myself um, because I was just scared of that, honest, you know, and I was also not necessarily going um, anymore according to what is hot physically, <laughs> you know, that was not a consideration anymore and, uh, and I think I, you know, I, it was good, yeah. So, in any case, that is uh, maybe part one of this. I don't know if I'm going to make a bit of a, you know, more videos about this because I'm sure there are a lot of things that I could talk about in that connection. So, let's just call it a day for this, for this video. 
and let me finish the look and um, maybe I'm still going to like super build up this shade because I, th I think I can still do more and just drag it up a little bit more towards the crease I think that could be also very flattering and yeah so let me work on that and of course you're going to see the other two looks in just a second and also the swatches of the palette and then we'll meet here again for the review part so stay tuned my lovelies here we are of course with the finished look and the finished styling as you know and I'm going to zoom you in first of all so you can take a closer look because I also added a couple of glitters there in the shape of butterflies I hope you will be able to see it I think it's really really cute these glitters I ordered from Aliexpress so this is like a no-name whatever glitter and I topped it off with um, the butterfly glitters I topped them off with a junky glitter from Lily Posh so it's really really cute also I forgot to actually tell you in the intro that I also received as part of this beautiful gift from my bestie two of the sugar drizzle duochromy uh, eyeliners and I actually used both of them today one is a little bit more like yellow duochromy which I have in the inner third I want to say and the other one is more blue blue purple I want to say okay so this is the shade soul which I have in the outer part and then the more yellowy one I think is the hello babe let me see no it's the other way around <laughs> sorry sweeties okay so in any case hello babe is the more blue purple one which I have in the outer part and then soul is more like the yellow one the lighter one that I have at the inner part I don't know if you can actually see it it might come across better in the photo shoots but in any case and also both of the looks that you saw already in pictures I wore these but of course this is a very very small area so it's hard to see in any case the performance is really really good I kind of really really want to use those in like in face art it almost makes more sense than using them here just on the waterline or actually using them on your lid or in something else than just the waterline because it's it's almost a waste to have something so so beautiful and then just use it for something that kind of gets lost in the look you know so I'm gonna have to find a way to use them in a better way but this is what I did for now okay sweeties so how did I finish the look let's talk about this in the inner corner the palette is so messy now because I swatched it in the inner corner I used of course this golden shade and I dragged it around a little bit then of course as I already told you I have those two liners on my waterline I packed this duochrome shade close to the waterline and then I blended it out with the lighter green okay so this is how I finished the look and of course then applying also the glitters and having a black winged liner and I also put my my butterfly wings on for you sweeties <laughs> okay so now let's talk basics about the palette you do have a sleeve which looks exactly like the palette you do have the ingredients on the back also on the sleeve and also on the palette then you do have cardboard packaging you do have a mirror and of course you do have shade names and then within the palette you do have three mats you do have I think three duochromes which is this one this one and this one and I want to say that these three are more foils and I don't think that there is like a super super big shift in those it's more this one this one and this one where I personally saw like the bigger shift but you tell me I don't know in any case it is very very beautiful what you're getting here I want to say though that probably if you're buying this palette once it gets restocked because I think right now when I'm filming this this is sold out but when you're buying this you're probably going to go and buy it for the shimmer shades because these are just spectacular spectacular the mats are normal mats you know normal mats they're buildable they're fine this one definitely stains so just make sure that you don't mind that I personally don't care but just telling you that this is what it is beyond that I have no problem with the shimmer shades with creasing or separating or anything which is really really nice because you know that a lot of stuff creases on me if it's not like I don't know if it if it just doesn't work for me then it creases you know this definitely works for me so that is really really nice overall I think 
think um, it is a beautiful color scheme. I was kind of thinking while I was working with the palette how I would redesign it. I always do that. That's not a criticism of a palette or a brand or something. I always do that because my mind is always working like how would I custom make this for me. Now I personally would probably increase the mat, the number of the mats, the ratio, because that is just who I am. As I told you in the video, it always freaks me out when I have some kind of shimmery shade above my crease, but that is just my makeup style, you know? It means nothing. But beyond that, I think this is just a super, super pretty palette, you know? And Sugar Drizzle, like I told you, is a very intriguing brand, and I think if they keep going what they're doing, if they keep doing what they're doing, <laughs> then I think they're going to go far, you know? So this is really, really cool. And I'm so, so grateful that I got to try this, you know? This is not the last time, sweeties, that you're going to see Sugar Drizzle here on my channel because, sweeties, I think this is now, let me think, this is the third palette that I have from Sugar Drizzle and it is not going to be the last one for sure because really highly recommend for you to check out that brand. Now, I want to add actually something to the story that I told you in the makeup application part because, sweeties, I know people out there who are watching maybe are also in an abusive relationship and I know from experience how hard it is to get out of that especially when you have children and I cannot even imagine if there is more that binds you together than just the two of you you know so I cannot comment on that because I have not been in that situation but what I want to add to this whole thing is and actually I just more or less realized that now or later on not while I was in that situation but because I thought I just love him and that was all that mattered and I thought I can change the world the love is strong enough I will be able to rescue him I will be able to rescue this relationship fact is that love is not only just love you know love is one thing but a lot in these kinds of relationships is of course very very toxic there are a lot of power battles going on there is a lot of other stuff going on okay so what I just want to encourage you to do is if you're in a situation like this just see what is actually really the piece of love that is in all of that big mess and what are the other things you know what is the addiction that one has to the other person or because that was for me I was totally addicted to that person because you know the good things were really really good but the bad stuff was just really really bad you know so I was addicted to the good stuff and I was scared of the bad stuff but I was kind of really addicted to the good stuff you know so in any case at the end of the day the good stuff is not going to um, keep you in this it's not going to keep you afloat you know so just saying maybe you need to get yourself some help or I don't know what I got myself help and I left the country now not everybody can do that of course but I was fortunate enough to put space between us because um, to this day I think um, he was an incredible person in the good days you know you know I don't bear any grudges I know that there are demons to fight that uh, he had to fight and I have my own and uh, you know this is just how life is but I just never wanted to see myself as a victim and that is the main message that um, that I want to leave with you today is that you can be what you want to be okay and nothing needs to make you a victim I don't see myself a victim at all not of abuse not of who knows what not of my eating disorder I feel that everything that is happening to me good or bad is shaping me towards the queen that I'm going to be one day when I start to roll sweeties mark my words you know everything especially the bad things the challenging things they are shaping your crown your crown is while you're crying and on the floor and bruised and whatever bleeding whatever you know literally or figuratively your crown is being forged. You're strong. You're stronger than you are. And you're maybe strongest when you just don't feel it and you don't know it.
you know? Okay, sweeties, this is it. Take it or leave it. <laughs> this is what I had to say today. All right, if you want to know what else I have on my face beyond this beautiful palette and, of course, those beautiful liners, then, of course, check out my description box. It is all going to be uh, linked there. Beyond that, of course, all my discount codes with the different brands you will find there listed. Also, ways to support my channel. And beyond that, also my links to social media. And that is what it is. So, sweetie, if you've made it till here and you like it here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave because because I would absolutely be thrilled and, and honored to have you here. And I shall see you here super soon for my next video. And up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.